Welcome to UV Physics Academy. So here they are asking to show this relation. Earlier we have used this density operator rho equal to i plus r bar dot sigma by 2. So let us derive this. Okay. So now first uh, let me take a um, uh, point on the block sphere. So first I am taking this uh, block sphere. Oh, I'm sorry. So this is block sphere, x axis, y and z. Now first I am taking the point on the block sphere. Let us say this is the psi. So here we have psi equal to cos theta by 2 e raised to i phi sin theta by 2. Now for this state first let me find the density operator. So that is rho equal to this outer product psi. Okay. So this is the keta vector. So density operator rho equal to first keta vector as it is cos theta by 2 e raised to i phi sin theta by 2. And next one we have this bra vector. Okay. Which is a rho matrix cos theta by 2 e raised to minus i phi sin theta by 2. Just multiply this. Okay. So this row and a column. Here we will get row equal to cos square theta by 2. And the next one e raised to minus i phi sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. Next if you multiply the next row you will get e raised to i phi sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Next, uh, next term is uh, e raised to i phi, e raised to minus i phi gets cancelled, I mean equal to 1. Then here we got uh, sin square theta by 2. Now with your permission, here I will take this uh, 1 by 2 outside and after that I will multiply here 2. That means every term is multiplied with uh, 2. So then that's uh, density operator rho equal to. 1 by 2 that is a 2 cos square theta I can write it as a 1 plus cos theta next e raised to minus i phi 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 we can write it as a sin theta right and next this is a e raised to i phi same sin theta and this can be written as a 1 minus cos theta fine so let us uh, 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 split this matrix okay how rho equal to 1 by 2 first i am splitting this 1 0 0 1 okay plus of course 1 by 2 is throughout common next what is the remaining matrix cos theta e raised to minus i phi sin theta and here sin theta sorry e raised to i phi and uh, minus cos theta so this is the second matrix fine now again I am going to split that uh, second matrix okay so here rho equal to I got 1 by 2 okay that is nothing but identity plus now again I am going to split this matrix how cos theta I am taking out okay right okay so cos theta 0 0 minus cos theta and the next matrix I am taking this as a 0 e raised to minus i phi is nothing but a cos phi minus i sin phi so cos phi minus i sin phi into sin theta and the next here uh, we have cos phi plus i sin phi into sin theta and here uh, 0 because already we have taken that term a cos theta term right so now again I am going to split this like this uh, I think I can write this as uh, 0 uh, cos phi sin theta and again here cos phi sin theta 0 okay right 
and uh, plus. <coughs> Next, I can write this as a sine theta sine phi. Okay, so okay, okay, fine. So let me take the directly. I think you no need to write these many steps. Let me write directly. So here, what I'm doing is uh, cos cos phi sine theta. I'm taking common first. That means a sine theta cos phi. Okay, that is a zero. 1 1 0 next I am taking common sin theta sin phi sin theta sin phi common then I will get 0 minus i i 0 so we can write this uh, a total final uh, density operator rho equal to 1 by 2 into i this is nothing but a cos theta sigma z next plus sin theta cos phi sigma x plus sin theta sin phi sigma y that's good okay so now uh, let us write this rho equal to 1 by 2 into uh, i plus this entire thing is nothing but uh, r cap dot uh, a sigma bar because here r cap what is this r cap so r bar by r magnitude so what is the position vector in three dimension sin theta cos phi and sin theta sin phi and cos theta so this is nothing but sin theta cos phi sin theta sin phi comma cos theta so this is our unit vector in the three dimension so finally here we got this a density operator corresponding to the point on the block sphere rho equal to 1 by 2 into i plus r cap dot a sigma bar. So here this r cap magnitude definitely equal to 1 because the point is on the block sphere. Okay, so if you want to write this as a more general form, then we can write rho equal to 1 by 2 into i plus r bar dot uh, sigma bar if i take that r bar as arbitrary position vector so here again two cases will be there that is uh, if r bar magnitude is equal to one we call it as a pure state and the point is on the block sphere and if this uh, r bar magnitude is less than one we call it as a mixed state and the point is inside the block sphere Right. So here in this uh, first part, we have already uh, we derived this uh, rho equal to i plus r bar dot sigma by 2. Okay. And the next what he is asking, the second part. Let us go to the second part. Okay. Here it is. And in the second part, he is asking, what is the block vector representation for the state rho equal to i by 2? So for example, if rho equal to i by 2 then what is that r bar that means we have to find that r bar or block vector whatever it is so just equate this so here they have given i by 2 they have given i by 2 but we got the general form as a 1 by 2 i plus r bar dot a sigma bar so just equate these two and definitely you will get uh, this one the r bar magnitude should be equal to 0 because that second term should be equal to 0 then what is the meaning of that r bar magnitude is 0 the the, the point is uh, at the center of the block sphere that means if this is the block sphere the point is here 0 comma 0 comma 0 horizon right so that's it and uh, if a rho density operator rho is equal to a by 2 that, that that is the point i mean the point corresponding to that is uh, the horizon okay right the center of the block sphere right and that the third part and fourth part are uh, the reverse actually we have to take that point again and uh, uh, we have to check whether it is a magnitude of r equal to one or not okay so that's it and this is the derivation corresponding to rho equal to 1 by 2 into i plus r bar dot sigma bar okay so thank you